train hard, recover faster, faster, and bring on the gains with recovery systems. And your host, Coach Mike on the mic. All right, so uh, working out the human. So this is a this is a threshold test. This is on a treadmill and increasing by half a k per minute until exhaustion. So you can see the person has started off. Uh, in this case, the person warmed up. I know from the protocol beforehand, and steadily they're still in the green zone all the way through until they hit their threshold. Now at that point. This is zone two to three crossover. Uh, it will capture the heart rate as well, so we know what that was. But remember, if we're capturing heart rate, if you're doing this on a treadmill inside, your heart rate's gonna be different, right? This is why heart rate's not, not something you should be, uh, um, it, it's, it is a number you should look at, but you shouldn't pay too much credibility because if you're doing this outside, that heart rate may be actually higher for the same sort of effort. And then going into the threshold and then into VO2 max until, uh, until exhaustion. So we can actually upload this. So that, that's pretty straightforward and simple. But if you're... A, you know that you're good to go when you have hit the plateau. Yes. Now after a while you'll know what your working range for your oxygen is, for your muscle oxygen what your typical working range is. Off the bat, it'll take you, you know, a few weeks of data until you actually realize what it is. In fact, one thing that uh, some of my athletes have also been doing is playing around with nitrates, like beetroot juice and so on, to try and boost their oxygen levels. So how would you go about measuring that? Here it is here. It'll appear in those numbers. Pretty cool, huh? So that in itself is pretty valuable data particularly if you're matching it with your, uh, with various things, your pace, your heart rate, and so on. But you can actually upload this. Take a look at this. Anyone using training peaks in the room? Just or, signed up. Uh, did you? Or at Today's Plan or any of those platforms. So this is a scatter file. And so th this is only for the data geeks. Now for Scott and I, we've always coached a little differently than going, than going this far, but somebody like Nick, who's very data driven. Would, it, would that be fair to say he's getting all shy now? Uh, but take a look at this. Look at the tipping point of the anaerobic. And then a very steep uh, tipping point down to exhaustion. And these numbers actually correlate to zone three, zone four. 287 watts, because this person had a stride power meter on their shoe. At 151 BPM, okay, that's environmental. Indoors, outdoors, it's gonna be different and a pace. Pretty cool, eh? So previously to get that sort of data, you need to go to a lab, have your finger pricked. Possibly if you're going to exhaustion, it'll involve a mask to measure your, your gas output as well. This is real time. So in other words, you go out and do this again tomorrow, whereas the lab uh, is indoors typically, you will get a moment in time reading on what's going on. This will give you a day-to-day -day reading on what's going on.